Dr. Toy, what would you say to someone who is perhaps a little hesitant to participate in a trial to encourage them to learn more? Yeah, certainly it's very natural to be anxious and to be um, hesitant about entering into a clinical trial, about volunteering to receive something that maybe hasn't been fully tested before. Um, You know, I think, um, you know, when I talk to my patients about trials, um, I think one thing I try to keep in mind is that ultimately, um, to a degree, to a large degree, we have our trials um, for our patients. Um, we, we want to have our trial, trials open at our center so that patients that can benefit from them um, can have access to them. And so uh, a lot of trials are really kind of designed in that way to give patients a chance at getting something that we think will be better or uh, a chance to get a drug when other drugs have stopped working. So I think um, I think many clinical trials aren't really with the thought that we want to prioritize the science and that our patients are just guinea pigs. In fact, I think um, I think all of us uh, that are treating patients at CLL and being a part of CLL clinical trials, I think we're really doing our best to prioritize our patients and their health. Um, and the trials are really just a part of that. Um, but but beyond that, um, you know, I think maybe the the questions that can be asked would be kind of what's known already about these drugs. Um, many trials are using drugs that we've already used for many years and maybe just using them in a different manner. Um, so uh, talk to your doctors about um, what's already known. Um, certainly the question about um, how will they be monitored, um, uh, that's an important question for your team too. Um, and then certainly um, make sure that you understand if there are any other options that would be uh, appropriate or good for you and and discuss uh, pros and cons of the trial versus those options. Mm-hmm.